everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Cube World. So today we are back here over at the Catacombs of Ikadara, I, th I think that's how you pronounce it, and um, you probably know since the last episode that my companions changed. We did before uh, have a different pet, I think, or didn't we? No, actually, no, I don't think we did. Yeah, so basically, if you haven't seen it yet, on the Blue Zephos channel, me and Simon, I introduced Simon to the world of Cube World, which was actually this save. Some people were like, if you have a server and have a single player, do you have separate worlds? You do. But I just decided to bring Simon into my world because it made more sense, because I was already uh, slightly accustomed to it, which is pretty cool. So we've got a brand new pet called Dust Bunny, who's pretty cool. I really like him. Um, and he's actually quite good as a tank as well. To, f to tame him, all I had to do was uh, feed him a carrot, which they sold in the general store. Store, so that was pretty easy to get a hold of. Obviously, some other creatures are slightly more difficult to come by. Let me just get you knocked over. And I'm actually quite used to playing a ranger because I actually have three characters. And if you get too bored of seeing me play the mage, let me know what you reckon in the comments if you want to see uh, more types of, of characters in this Let's Play. Uh, but I kind of thought it'd be nice to have the story of my character and then in my multiplayer videos, you'll see me playing as things like a rogue. I've got like a level 15 rogue at the minute. I've got an orc who's not too bad. I don't think I'm playing those properly though. I think there's a specific way to play those where you're doing more damage based on if you're stealthed or not. Um, and I think I've kind of got it nailed now, but I find it a little bit confusing. So I can either go down two trees with that. There's either the stealthy route or there's like a ninja one as well, which is pretty cool. So like as the ninja, you can like do a backflip and shoot three, uh, three lots of death stars, like three loads of shuriken actually at the enemy as you're like flying away from them, which is pretty sweet. And uh, I also have a ranger as well. I've got a little frog uh, called Frogo, which I tried to make sound like Frodo, but it didn't really work as well as I hoped it would. But, <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much the gist of my uh, of my character bank so far. So this one's level 5, Frogo's about level 9 or 10, and then we've got a rogue at level 15 as well. So I think once I have shown you this part, uh, or this catacomb should I say, as a whole in the plain land areas, they're pretty much the same. So I'd like it if I can actually do a little bit of power leveling on stream or off camera basically, not on this series. And then I can go to somewhere like a desert, which I haven't actually found yet. Uh, there are ocean biomes where we went with sea nanas, which was pretty cool. And we found like a zombie island. If you haven't seen that video yet, um, it's probably going to be coming out soon. Or if you haven't seen that live stream at least, uh, make sure you go and check it out. But yeah, we got to this island and there was nothing but like undead, skeletons, vampires. There were literally ghosts as well. There are these ghosts that look like giant sperm um, and they're called frighteners and basically we fought those on an island so it's kind of like a Pirates of the Caribbean feel to it. I sort of felt like One Piece as well it felt like I was on like the uh, the Grand Line um, and we were on one of the many islands that are along it because the ocean biomes are huge uh, as you'd probably expect. Not like the initial Minecraft ones. I know Minecraft ones got bigger over the years um, let me just knock you down. There we go. Oh hello. Good cheeky get. I'm really not making the most of my uh, right click attack. Oh ding! Fantastic. Good stuff. I think Dust Bunny is actually down at the minute. He was originally called Toby, wasn't he? But I thought, ah, I'm going to call him Dust Bunny for a little while. Uh, oh, God. It's not often that I get stunned, actually, by the enemies, but looks like I did today. So there we go. Oh, now that we dinged as well, I will be able to spend on my skill tree the mana shield, and I think I will start moving that up as well so I can get some slightly higher climbing. I think I'll get to my hand glider, which will be 5 and 1. I've got the mana shield now, which was 5 and 1. So I don't think I'm going to be bothered about the teleport for a little while. So I'm going to stick on these two. I'm going to stick on pet master and climbing for a little bit because with my dust bunny being my tank, it's actually really good to increase his HP. Um, so I'm going to definitely be doing that. And he can also deal a lot of damage. I've got a couple more pieces of food. I've got waffles or pancakes. Uh, I've got chocolate bars and on my other characters as well. I've tamed all sorts of creatures. I actually tamed a, a squirrel today. Squirrel, squirrel. I don't know how people say it. I think it's an accent thing. I think if you're American, you say squirrel. And if you're American, if you're English, you say squirrel. Squir squir nah, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So that's the general gist of it. Let me know if you want to see more characters. You tend to see those in multiplayer anyway. So I like the idea that we're following the story of this one brave mage that's trying to conquer the world. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, nothing on there, no? Now, where is the boss? The boss is below us. Let's have a look. So, actually, yeah, look, there's the entrance over there. We've already come quite a way over. Bloody hell, he's very low. Look how far down he is. Good God, right. So, I'm going to basically just go the way that looks like it's going to take me downwards. That looks like a straight path. So, if I go this way and have a little look downwards. Is that what we're looking for? It is, yeah. Okay, cool. Probably with some potions. They'll not have... Oh! 
I don't have any. Okay, really quickly then. Let's run outside. Let's make some water flasks. And then I will also turn those into health potions. But I think the actual full episode today is going to be is going to be doing the catacomb run. And then, yeah, like I said, once we've done that, I can start going out into new areas. So for people that are curious about what you need to feed to pets in order to, uh, to tame them, the ones that I'm aware of so far are collie dogs can take bubble gum. The rabbit took an, a carrot. I know that stripping has got a horse. Um, and the horse required an apple to get. You can get banana split for monkeys. Uh, uh, normal milk chocolate bar for a plane runner, which is like a little sort of like Karib uh, Karibo type character with legs, which is quite cool. It's got a big like beak on it. Uh, what else is there? There's like cats, which you can feed candy to. And on the subreddit as well, if you go on to uh, slash r slash cube world, uh, there's like a full list on there of lots of different ones that you can actually get. And uh, most of them I was already aware of. There's a couple that I wasn't um, uh, what I haven't actually experienced yet because I haven't had uh, that pet food. But there's been loads of upgrades to this since the last episode I recorded. Like, he's added in two new animals to the game. He's increased the amount of drops as well. The multi uh, multiplayer menu has changed. So whenever you log into a server, you can actually keep a copy of that world. Um, and you can also now connect to a server via the main menu so in, as opposed to having to load up a single player world then type in a command you can actually just do it straight up from here now which is pretty helpful right here we go let's use up a lot of this mana there you go I might actually be able to take them all down before they even start on me oh dear oh dear okay some of these are probably going to drink a potion but if I could take a couple of them out before I do right okay let me just run around this corner I should have healed before the battle but now we're in the midst of it oh no dust bunny Okay, they're coming around the side anyway. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I'll wait for him to come back. I want to try the mana shield, but I don't know when to try it. If I get a little bit overwhelmed, I may put it on. What's the actual ability of it? You're protected by a magic shield, which absorbs damage for 30 seconds. That's pretty freaking helpful, actually. So if I've got, like, a boss mob that's coming after me... Oh, dear. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, if I've got a boss mob, he'll be able to tank... Uh, that'll be able to tank it as well as Dust Bunny as well. So that should be pretty cool. I should be okay in this area because I've loaded up the world and then I reset the time of day um, to 7 a.m. Oh, a vampire! I don't know if we've come across these yet actually in the Let's Play, but there you go. There's a vampire. I think we might have encountered one last time when we were at the entrance to this place. Let me put this on. Ah, oh, cool. Look at that. It just absorbs every single one of them. That's very handy. Especially if I just need some time to drink a potion as well. But I don't know if actually drinking a potion will cancel the casting of the absorb. I hope not. I mean, it'd be pretty sweet if it didn't. There we go. And you are down as well. There we go. Good. Now, one thing that I noticed in the last dungeon run that we did, there wasn't a chest. We found a couple of vases, but we never actually found a... Um, we never actually found a chest to open. So maybe it just differs per, per run. Right, how am I going to get all these three in one hit? There we go. Yeah, yes, nice. I've also got some crafting to do when we get back to the city. Because if I do defeat this boss, I'll end up getting a... Um... Oh, dear. There we go. Let me put the absorb on. That way I can stay close range to him. There you go. Oh, dear. Now, one thing I've noticed is that when I throw out the boomerang as an archer, um, it, if I roll or move backwards or anything, it actually interrupts the cast. Whereas with the mage... Uh, it doesn't interrupt the cast, but whereas with the mage, if I do, say, my right-click ability... And then I drop down, and then I roll backwards. It actually cancels it mid-cast. I guess it's just one of the perks of using different weapons and using different classes as well. Right, if I were to shoot that in. There we go. The only problem I've had so far in this game is the ar uh, not the archers, but the mages. Basically, when the mages have got that tornado move, that can be an absolute nightmare to deal with. Because they just never miss. In a similar fashion as well, actually, with the... Um oh, dear. I've attracted a lot of attention there. The zombies are pretty easy to take care of, though, so I should be all right. I think Dust Bunny might have died. <laughs> well, that's where Dust Bunny's gone to. But yeah, either a mage with a uh, tornado attack or a ranger with a boomerang, and they just they, don't, they hit you regardless. No matter how much you dodge around, you're just not going to be able to move away from that attack, which is kind of annoying, but I guess that's the whole idea of you having to attack certain ones first. You have to know which order to deal with certain mobs. So you might have to run past some others, take a couple of hits... There we go, and you as well. Marvelous. Good, that's it. Keep those at a distance. Oh, he's going for Dust Bunny first, that's helpful. There you go. So much easier when you've got a pet, because you don't actually have to rely on many other people. Because a lot of people I saw in the comment section in the last episode were like, oh god, this seems like you can't really do dungeon runs without a uh, without like a party with you, but it's not really the case at all. Oh dear. There we go. 
Good. Is that all of them? Ah, just the mage left. Down. No, don't drink that potion. Stop that. There you go. Sometimes I've noticed as well that when I actually take them down when they're drinking the potion and they get back up, they, ca they carry on drinking the potion sometimes, which is a little bit counterproductive on our part, but whatever. It's all good. Right, how close are we now then? Let's have a look whilst we're healing. Uh, we're getting a bit lower. That looks incredibly deep down. I don't realise sometimes how deep some of these dungeons actually are. I mean, the pyramids are a perfect example because you have to climb right the way up the pyramids and then you have to go right the way down them to even get onto ground level and then obviously they continue onwards underneath the ground afterwards. So yeah. Oh dear. There we go. I might absorb this. Knock them over. See if I can take out these two. Bloody hell, that mage is really messing with me. He's got rings on, actually. I don't know if I've showed these off on this Let's Play yet. But um, you can actually acquire rings. So you can sort of do Dragon Ball Z-style, like, Kamehameha type things. So, like, those guys are doing there. They're actually wearing rings. Because people told me in the comment section that I was wearing them just on my left and right ring. Which actually doesn't increase any of my stats, I didn't think. Um, I was just wearing them as trinkets as opposed to actually using them to, to cast spells. There we go. Right, I've got a sword. Got anything that I can equip, actually? Uh, oh, a scratch wooden staff, that'll do. Because I'm using a... Oh, no, it's a wand I'm using, not a staff. Okay, never mind. Any shoulder pieces. Power 14, so I can't use that. Well, actually, I'm, I'm higher than that, should I say. I've uh, got that. That's one of the rings. So if I show you, look. So you do single fireballs, and then you can also do the big ones as well, which is quite cool. I think a lot of them are down to preference. I mean, I personally prefer the wand, because I found that even if I use the ring and use the projectile attack, the right-click one, that it doesn't have as high of a chance of actually knocking them down and stunning them. Because as a ranged character, or as any character really, the main goal really when you're fighting, especially with an elite or a boss, is that you really want to try and floor them as much as possible. So either your bunny can nail a load of hits, so you can start to tank it, um, or just in general, so you can get a load of hits in. Where were you attacking? I think you changed focus to the bunny. <laughs> just before you decided to change your mind. There you go. Let's put the absorb on. Good. Nice. I like this absorb. I think the absorb is definitely one of the ones that I'd want to increase the... Um, the Oh, sorry. Decrease the cooldown time. So I'd want to increase the frequency of it and the tempo. That would be pretty helpful. Because the more I can actually call that to arms, the less damage I'm going to take overall during a the battle. There we go. Good. So I reckon once I get hang gliding, once I've beefed out Dust Bunny a little bit, then I think I'm going to start putting up the Mana Shield. I mean, I'll need to put it up to 5 for default anyway to get access to the final ability, which I think is Teleport. I haven't actually looked into the Mage one. So I've got Teleport, which teleports me to wherever my crosshair is facing. Uh, oh, and it's actually the same thing. Oh, I see. So wait, hold on. Healing Stream. Oh. So wait, how do you actually attack as a water mage then? I mean, I guess... The, oh, no, I guess that's my number one key, isn't it? Oh, okay, so yeah, the fire the fire mage has a knockdown ability. Um, whereas the water mage will actually just heal himself. Which might actually come in more handy in the future, the healing ability. Because if I have a pretty good pet that can do a lot of melee damage, if I can just keep him and myself healthy, I could sort of be like a heal bitch for my own little squad. <laughs> that's probably how it would play out. There we go. Become a bit more of a paladin character. That's it. Down you go. Thanking you. I see where they are. There you go. Oh, didn't actually get him. Let's go. Let's absorb all these. It's good as well because if I'm taking damage from numerous enemies as well, I can actually take a lot of uh, a lot of attention away from everybody else. Oh, where's my potion at? Oh, there you go. Oh, walls. Oh, walls. Oh, walls. Oh, walls. All right, we have to drink it up. That's it. Keep drinking. Keep drinking. Right. Okay. What are we dealing with? I can't see any of their mobs. It's really frustrating. It's dust bunnies down. Alright, okay, now I see them. Pretty much all of them are like a one hit away from death. There we go, good. It's kind of annoying that I'm only getting like... Oh, hello. I didn't know you were still around. There you go. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that I'm doing a dungeon run and even though they're blue text, I'm still only getting like two XP off them. I mean, I've been getting a lot of XP... What's that? It's like a dagger in the wall. <laughs> Somebody like throw a dagger at me. We've got some weird, like, ninja inside of here. But yeah, so I'm really getting 2 XP off of those, so... I kind of need to start fighting orange text ones more, or just branching out into new areas. This torch is not particularly bright. Although, to be fair, they weren't making it obvious where they were anyway. They were pretty well disguised. Where is he? Hey, 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 leave Dust Bunny alone, man! Alright, cool. Let's use that. Should you really use the mana shield more? I guess the more frequently I use it, the quicker it's going to come around. I shouldn't really hold back on it. Because otherwise, I'm just going to be defaulting max potions all the time. There we go. Right, so it looks like... 
It's going to be down this way. I don't know if the boss is around that corner. Let me see. Are we getting close? Ah, uh, not really that close. No, <laughs> not as close as I'd like to be to be that him, but that's okay. We're only 15 minutes in. Let's see what we've got to oh, deal with. Whoa, they're all just hidden. They're all just completely hidden. They don't emanate light like some of the other mobs do. There we go. It probably would have helped if I did this not so late in the day as well. Because, I mean, like, it's, what, 5.39 on this world at the minute. Usually, if you do it at 7 a.m., the win the light, the very little bit of light that you get coming through the windows um, could actually help out quite a lot. Right, okay, looks like it might be a case of going down this corridor, and then I'm faced with a boss. Ah, yeah, there he is. He's at the top. What kind is he, then? Oh, he's a melee type. I'm going to see if I can pull this vampire first, because he's probably going to be a problem for me. Let's see. That's it, that's it. Come to Papa, come to Papa. No, oh, no, he spotted me, never mind. Right, so I'm going to have to deal with both of them. Not a problem, I think. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it feels like a problem. There you go. Good. Let's just hold him off. Take out the vampire first, I'll deal with the rest later on, because I wouldn't be surprised if... This guy can actually, um, I get, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy, what's his name? Morless. I'd be very surprised if he wasn't one of the kinds who can, um, actually spawn in, like, zombies and crap. There we go. Deal with the vampire, deal with the vampire. Oh, that's it, yeah, yeah, it does, bunny. Focus on him, focus on him. Good, good. Seems like we managed to get his health down quite a bit already. Just got to keep an eye on my own health. Right, come here, Morlus. That's it, both of you down. Vampire didn't take the bait and fall, but that's not a problem. Because he's down now. Oh, dear. That's it. No, no, no. Stop with the potion. Stop with the potion. Because it's just like fighting a whole new one. Oh, man. Good. Vampire down almost. There you go. Right, cool. Now we've just got this guy to deal with. Cool. Oh, he dodged that. All right. I should be okay. I think between my potions, between my tanking bunny, and between my absorb as well, I should be all right. There you go. wonder what kind of block we'll get off him. We'll have to take it back to the town and see if we can actually apply it to our uh, to, uh, to our wand. Let me just heal up a little bit. Although one thing I've noticed actually with uh, with my other characters is that when you get these drops off of um, off of the elite mobs and stuff, like the actual like spirit blocks and fire blocks and stuff, uh, they don't work for every weapon. So I noticed that kind of with my ranger, I wasn't able to put it on a boomerang, but I was able to place it onto a bow. So um, I guess the more you play this, the more of them you'll acquire. So you won't have to worry about them being, you know, weapon specific. There you go. Oh, good. Oh, no, he's a bit too far away for that. That's it. Keep doing that. Keep going. That's it. Good. We've got him pretty much below half health already, which is good. There we go. Knock him over. Probably do with a little bit of a heal, I think. Okay. And two. There you go. Good. Good. This is well played. Good. Right. Keep a distance. This, I've noticed that with a mage, I don't have to keep as much distance as I have to do with a uh, with an archer. There we go. Good stuff. Come on. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. No, let's not have any of that. That's it. Stop that drinking potion, uh, potion drinking. Yeah, see what I mean? He carries on. It's really frustrating. Stop it. I think he'll just carry on regardless until he's actually drunk an entire potion. Why do they just make the health bar longer? I don't know. I think it's just so he can be that guy. You know, like you always have that dickish gym leader in Pokemon who just like... He just drinks a hyper potion after all the hard work you've put in and you're scraping on like two Pokemon left. There we go. Defeated. So I got, I think it was an ice spirit coin. I don't know if I'll be able to get much use of, out of that as a, um, oh, I actually got two of those. Was it one or two? Wait, hold on. Why did it, I've just got a lost one. Did I eat it? I could have sworn that said two for a second there. Never mind. Well, I'm power level 20 now, which is good. Um, and I'm actually pretty close to leveling. I might go back up through this catacomb, go to the other parts of the dungeon that I haven't been in yet, and see if I can actually um, pick up an extra couple of mobs. Because I'm only what? Actually, no, I'm quite a way off uh, level <laughs> level seven, aren't I? But okay, never mind. Okay, I tell you what. Let's make our way back out of here. We'll kill some mobs on the way out, and then when we get back to the surface, we can wrap it up there for today. But that's pretty cool. So yeah, let me know in the comments section. Do you want to see more uh, of the mage? Do you want this to be one continuous story? And you want to see my other characters either as a separate Let's Play. Um, or even just as part of the multiplayer videos that we put out. Because I mean, we live stream this nearly every day at the minute. So, um, you know, there's a lot of room for actually finding stuff. Uh, no, that's cool. We've got those. Is there anything that I can now equip now that I'm a higher level? 
Let's have a look. We've got some linen boots. 14, 14. I mean, I am looking at the stats as well, but none of these are much better. That one is much, much better. There we go. The only annoying thing is I wish there was a way you could dye the clothes because sometimes I'll actually leave a piece of armor on as opposed to another piece of armor just because it looks nicer. So that's kind of an issue. Right, let me see what kind of experience I can pick up of these guys in here. Don't actually know how many of them there are. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I think I've aggroed the entire room there. Not the best idea I've ever had, but it's fine. That's it. Keep it going. Keep it going. That's it. Keep going. Zombie horde. Let's just get rid of them. Yeah, cool. That's definitely the weapon I pick in a zombie apocalypse, I reckon. It's a flamethrower. There you go. Nice. Take you down to Funky Town. There you go. That's you finished. Right, just a couple. Oh, Q. <laughs> I did not realize I was so low on health. That's okay. Though. I realized just at the nick of time. Cool. Good stuff. Right, absorb. Let's take out these mages. That's it. That's it. Last couple of them. And down you go. How much have I got? 49 or oh, 43 experience. I reckon we can pick that up in here. I reckon there's an entire another route that you can go down through this catacomb. I don't think it leads to anything. They only ever lead to one boss, but... If there are some more mobs in here. Yep, there are. Oh, wow. Let's absorb for a second. Oh, why, why am I not absorbing? Do I only absorb a certain amount of damage? I could have sworn there was a time frame on it. Unless it's a time frame or, um, or a certain amount of damage. So whichever criteria is met first, it will act upon that. That's it. Good. That's you two down. Nice. That's it. They're all just like hopping around the corner like, oh, hello. And they're just dead. Just gone straight away. Oh, there we go. So I'm just going to stand right there. Right up in their grill. Cool. I think their, uh, their attacks, even though they weren't doing any damage, they were still, like, pushing me back a little bit. Not so much staggering me, but they were, like, physically forcing me backwards. That's pretty cool. Right, is that everything from in here? I love robbing candles. Whenever player-based play, uh, player housing comes into this game, I'm totally going to have the most romantic house ever. It's just going to be filled with candles and love and happiness. It's going to be epic. It'd be nice if you could have like a pet like a pet cage as well. Not so much cage, maybe like a pen that you can put all your pets in so you can leave them there. Although to be fair, with the inventory space that we have, it's not too much of an issue. Right, there we go. Absorb. Send out the fireballs. There you go. That's it, cool. Gotcha. Out the way. Where's Dust Bunny at? Dust Bunny, where are you? I need your help, bro. Oh, come on. Almost there. Almost there. God, I've got loads of money off of this. I'm pretty sure, actually, as well now that... Yeah, look at that. 61 silver. I'm nearly at a gold. I don't think I actually have a gold anywhere on Cube World at the minute. Other than my rogue, I think. Um, so that'd be pretty cool if we managed to get a gold sometime soon. Granted, the most expensive thing that I've seen so far is like 10 silver, which was the, um, which was the boat and the hang glider. So maybe when we head back to town, we'll be able to actually buy one of those. There you go. Oh, I might need to heal. That's it. <laughs> All right. There you go. Got you, and you are done as well. Right, now I get the feeling that this might have been a dead end. Let's have a look. Flat wall, flat wall. Yeah, it was. Okay, never mind. So there we go. That's the entire of the catacombs of Ikadara cleared out. Good stuff. Uh, wait, which way was it? This lamp is very weak. There we go. It's this way. <laughs> I was like, where is the exit? Oh, they respawn now. I forget that if you leave it for a certain amount of time, they respawn. Usually, though, you have enough time to actually clear the whole thing out before um, before they respawn. But apparently not. And they also respawn in the order that you cleared them out in as well. So if you go through and wait in the boss room for too long, you'll be doing the exact same process to get out. Not a problem. I've only got this guy to deal with. And then I'm assuming the ones up by the main entrance... Are still there as well. Where are we? It's okay. There's no spikes on these stairs. Might be worth me eating a little bit of ginseng soup or ginseng. Is it ginseng or ginseng? Is it spelled with a J? Well, it's spelled with a G, but it could pr be pronounced as a J. All right, let's find out what the crack is here then. What's the damage? Oh, there's a vase there that I didn't open up. Thank you. Let's have a look. Ah, yeah, there's some by the entrance. Right, let's do it. There's a vampire, a couple of undead. There you go. Cool. That vampire's gonna fling over to there. Yeah, cool. We got this. That's it. That's it. Oh, we didn't actually knock him over. Uh, that undead is almost dead again. There we go. Hey, hey. Let's 
kind of annoying when they fly over you. The same things that do that are like the hornets and then the insectoids as well. Then the insectoids are always pretty tough as well, I've noticed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did you see the eyes come out of the shadows? That was terrifying. All right. Let's see what you got. There we go. Oh, I like the little noise as well when you absorb a hit. There you go. Let's wait for a couple more of them to come in. That's it. Let's take out that guy. And this vampire is pretty much done. One, two... I actually might take another three hits. Ah, oh, four. There you go. Oh, no. Wow, it's more than four. Oh, I dinged again. It's twice in one episode. Thank you very much. Tell you what, I might even be able to actually uh, spend all those skill points to get my hang glider by this episode. But we can do that at the start of the next one. There we go. Let's have a look. So if I spin the points, one, two, three. Oh, one off. No, okay. Well, in the next episode, we're going to have to ding. So I'm going to make my way back to the village. And uh, and yeah, and in the next episode, let me know what you want to see. Do you want to see the mage continuing? I'm going to have the hang glider. And we're probably going to make our way out to a brand new biome. So if you've noticed the world, how it generates, um, these areas here, basically, this one large area is all one generation. So if I was to go all the way up to the Leno tree, you can see a slight difference in the height just there this part just here so that means that is going to be a new area so there'll be a new city to discover potentially a new biome as well so it could either be a desert it could be the hell and brimstone one it could be snowy so we can go find a little penguin because i think i've got food for a penguin or at least i'm on another character yeah so i don't know let me know what you want to see i love playing this game and i love just showing you what you want to learn and what you want to discover and i shall see you all in a little bit